Anointing, Bible verses about anointing with oil. 25 Bible verses about anointing with oil list verse and description. Bible verses about anointing with oil Psalm 92:10. But my horn you have exalted like a wild ox. I have been anointed with fresh oil. This verse speaks of being anointed with oil as a sign of God's favor and blessing. Exodus 30:25. And you shall make of these a holy anointing oil, a fragrant blend, the work of a perfumer, it shall be a holy anointing oil. This verse instructs the Israelites to make a holy anointing oil, a fragrant blend, as a sign of God's holiness. Isaiah 61 1 The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor, He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. This verse speaks of being anointed with oil to bring good news to the poor, to bind up the brokenhearted, and to proclaim liberty to the captives. Psalm 133 2 It is like the precious oil upon the head, running down on the beard, on the beard of Aaron, running down on the collar of his robes. This verse speaks of the anointing oil running down the beard of Aaron, a sign of God's favor and blessing. 1 Samuel 16 13 Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brothers, and the Spirit of the Lord rushed upon David from that day forward. This verse speaks of the anointing of David with oil and how the Spirit of the Lord rushed upon him from that day forward. Exodus 29 7 You shall take the anointing oil and pour it on his head and anoint him. This verse speaks of the anointing of Aaron, the first high priest of Israel, with oil as a sign of his consecration. Psalm 45 7 You have loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness beyond your companions. This verse speaks of the anointing of a righteous person with oil as a sign of God's favor and joy. 1 John 2 27 But the anointing that you received from him abides in you, and you have no need that anyone should teach you, but as his anointing teaches you about everything, and is true, and is no lie, just as it has taught you, abide in him. This verse speaks of the anointing of the believer with the Holy Spirit, who teaches us all things. 2 Corinthians 1 21 and it is God who establishes us with you in Christ, and has anointed us, and who has also put his seal on us and given us his spirit in our hearts as a guarantee. This verse speaks of the anointing of the believer with the Holy Spirit as a sign of God's favor and blessing. Psalm 104 15, and wine to gladden the heart of man, oil to make his face shine, and bread to strengthen man's heart. This verse speaks of the anointing of oil to make the face of man shine, a sign of God's favor and blessing. Proverbs 27 9, oil and perfume make the heart glad, and the sweetness of a friend comes from his earnest counsel. This verse speaks of the sweetness of friendship, which comes from being anointed with oil. Isaiah 10 27, and in that day his burden will be taken away from your shoulder, and his yoke from your neck, and the yoke will be broken because of the oil. This verse speaks of the anointing of oil to break the yoke of oppression, a sign of God's favor and deliverance. James 5 14, is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. This verse speaks of anointing the sick with oil in the name of the Lord, a sign of God's healing. 1 Samuel 10 1. Then Samuel took a flask of oil and poured it on his head and kissed him and said, Has not the Lord anointed you to be prince over his people Israel? This verse speaks of the anointing of Saul as the first king of Israel with oil, a sign of God's favor and blessing. Exodus 49 to 11. And you shall take the anointing oil and anoint the tabernacle and all that is in it, and consecrate it and all its furniture, so that it may become holy. You shall also anoint the altar of burnt offering and all its utensils, and consecrate the altar, so that the altar may become most holy. You shall also anoint the basin and its stand, and consecrate. This verse speaks of the anointing of the tabernacle and its furnishings with oil as a sign of God's holiness. Leviticus 8 10 12 And Moses took the anointing oil and anointed the tabernacle and all that was in it, and consecrated them. And he sprinkled some of it on the altar seven times, and anointed the altar and all its utensils, and the basin and its stand, to consecrate them. And he poured some of the anointing oil on Aaron's head and anointed him, to consecrate him. This verse speaks of the anointing of Aaron and the tabernacle as a sign of God's consecration. Psalm 23 5 You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. This verse speaks of the anointing of the head with oil as a sign of God's favor and blessing. Luke 4 18 The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed. This verse speaks of the anointing of Jesus with the Spirit of the Lord, a sign of God's favor and blessing. Mark 6 13 And they cast out many demons and anointed with oil many who were sick and healed them. This verse speaks of the anointing of the sick with oil as a sign of God's healing. 2 Kings 9 6 So he arose and went into the house. And the young man poured the oil on his head, saying to him, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, I have anointed you king over the people of the Lord, over Israel. 
This verse speaks of the anointing of Jehu as king of Israel with oil, a sign of God's favor and blessing. Matthew 26 7. A woman came up to him with an alabaster flask of very expensive ointment, and she poured it on his head as he reclined at table. This verse speaks of the anointing of Jesus' head with oil as a sign of love and devotion. Acts 10 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. He went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. This verse speaks of the anointing of Jesus with the Holy Spirit, a sign of God's favor and blessing. Hebrews 1 9. You have loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness beyond your companions. This verse speaks of the anointing of Jesus with oil as a sign of God's favor and joy. Revelation 1 6. And made us a kingdom, priest to his God and Father, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. This verse speaks of the anointing of believers as priests of God, a sign of God's favor and blessing. 1 John 2 20, But you have been anointed by the Holy One, and you all have knowledge. This verse speaks of the anointing of believers with the Holy Spirit, a sign of God's favor and blessing. What does the Bible say about anointing with oil, anoint, anointed, anointing oil, Bible, quiz, Bible verses, PDF, unique facts, father, grandfather, minister, missionary, deacon, elder, author, welcome to our family, view all posts.